Hello, thank you for joining me. If you're wondering where I am, that station is called Where. So Where is where we are. And what we've come to do today is to go and look at a fascinating grotto hidden away on a housing estate. So this is the level crossing on the Hartford East Branch. It's an unusual bit of railway because, all this video is not about railways, I'll tell you this, it's double track. And then there's the points, just through Where Station, it's single track, but it then becomes double track again. So it's a bit unusual, that is. What's, what we're going to find though here, at the bottom of this level crossing, is Amwell House. That's the beginning of what we've come to look at. So it's this building here in front of us. It's quite noisy by the road, so I'm going to take you in here by the new river. And I'll explain that in a moment. So this building in front of us, that's Amwell House. Now this was once a house with a lot of grounds, it's like a stately home really, even though it's very close to Ware Town Centre. And in those grounds is was a grotto, but well, the grotto's still there, but most of the grounds have had houses built, but not the grotto. The grotto was safe. If you look at it though, these two wings actually came out further once, but when the road was widened they were demolished, but the facades were recreated, just set further back. It's recently been converted into flats. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to walk beside the new river for a little way. This river was built to supply drinking water to London, so a man-made river, and although it looks like well, it looks like a canal. Um, the thing to give away is not a canal is not many boats are going to get under that bridge. So, Scott's Grotto. John Scott, he was a Quaker. He moved away from London to get away from smallpox. He settled here in Ware, and in the grounds of Amwell House, he built a grotto and a summer house. So the grotto we're going to go and see is really quite fascinating. There's going to be various little chambers, there's shells, it's decorated with shells, there's a council chamber at the end, so it's going to be quite exciting to see that. And then above all of that, up at the top of the garden, there's a summer house. So it's uh, the summer house where he would sit and he'd write some of his most famous poems. So that's the railway line along there, and this is the new river. And there's a road just up there called Scotch Road. So imagine this road would have probably been here. But all of that was all, all um, pleasure gardens of Amwell House. So it, you know, it had a, although it was situated on the road, it was a big estate and it had various, um, you know, Roscoe themed buildings. But the grotto is the main centerpiece. It's actually, it's meant to be inspired by the grotto in Twickenham. So the path along the New River carries on. I hope I can get out this gate. If I can't get out this gate, I'm gonna have to walk back. No, I can get, I can get out of here. So I haven't got to walk back. So out through this gate, make sure I shut it up again, which isn't so easy to do. There we go, the gate's closed. We're gonna go up here. It's called Scotch Road. Road's clear. So we're gonna go up Scotch Road and find Scotch Grotto, which I'm really quite excited about. So there you go, Scotch Road. Let's go up there and find a Scotto. I'm now coming up the hill from Amwell House, um, Town of Ware's in the background. This is called Scotch Road. Now the grotto we're going to is in here. You sort of wouldn't expect it in the middle of a residential area, but of course this was all parkland once, so this is where it is. It's open every Saturday, I believe, in the summer, so you know it's, it's well worth coming to see. I'm very excited about seeing it. There it says Scotch Grotto, and we cross the road here, and there's a big flag saying open so we're going to go through these gates and we're going to go and have a look around scott's grotto so here we are we have arrived at the grounds where the grotto is so we've just come in there the roads on the other side of the fence and as we follow this little path we look down there and there is our first glimpse of the grotto so it looks really quite exciting i can see well the front door there you can see this other building here so let's go in and have a look around um, so it's all shells and flints a bit like some of the flints you can see here on the steps, but there'll be a lot more of it once we get inside. So as we get to here, you can see in front of us the, the entrance to the grotto, and up there on the hill is the summer house. We're going to go to that later. You can see that's part of the grotto, and um, if we have a look, we come to here, you might just be able to see, but we'll have a proper look. That's another um, skylight into the grotto. I do like the uh, drain pipes. So they've got this shell with a hole in it. Now this is the first of many shells we're gonna see as we explore the grotto. So as we come 
into here. This is the entrance to the grotto. Yes. Many shelves. We'll go into here. You can just see above. It's all flint up there. And what we'll do, that one's just a dead end. We'll go around. So we go into here. Now, it's lit to a, from here. But when we get around the corner, it will be pitch black. So I have brought a torch with me. So if we go down here, there are some air tunnels. As you can see, it says no access to them. We're going down there, but you probably wonder where that is because you can't see much. So here's my torch. I know I look a little bit scary, but I'm trying not to be scary. I want to show you around. Let's go into the grotto. So we go down here, and already we come to a junction. So that's the path that will take us right through. But there's these other little chambers. Let's go into this one first. So we go through here. It's very small, isn't it? Uh, you can much be able to see daylight there and daylight there. So there, there's some more air holes in here, but just have a look at the shells. And I think that goes through to the next chamber. I'm going to do a slightly mad experiment. I'm going to put the torch in there because it didn't look far and see if I can go and find it. So I'll put the torch there. Can I find it without a torch? It's pitch black. But if I go here, I'm going around the corner now. Promise you there'll be light. There it is. There is my torch. And I'm back. So we are now in another chamber. It's a bit damp in here. There's what appears to be more shells and like volcanic rocks. So it's um, yeah, a little bit, I wouldn't say spooky, more just different and exciting. And loads of lovely patterns made with the shells. So we're gonna now, where well you can see some light without my torch there ahead, that's where we've come from. So we're gonna take this tunnel here now. So let's go. There's another little junction here, oh actually, I think that's the main route down there. We're gonna go down here. Oh, that's the air tunnel that goes up to the entrance. Get to here. And oh, there's another air tunnel up to the entrance. You can just hear people up there. So, have a look at this. There's another air tunnel. We're gonna make our way down to that chamber down there. So let's go back through here. Take this tunnel, it's quite a longer tunnel curving round the back. You get to here, that one is just a seat, that's where we've just been. That's where we were a moment ago. And we come into this chamber and they've made more nice patterns with flint and with shells. A huge sum of these shells, like that one. Look at that, it's really quite an amazing place this is. There you go. So what we'll do now, we'll go through the next tunnel. As soon as someone's just come through, we'll go through the tunnel, find the next chamber. So, there's people, we'll just wait for these people to come out and then we'll continue with our underground adventure. So um, here we go, we can go through this next tunnel now. Get to here. More little seats, there's little seats everywhere. If you ever want to sit down underground, you can just sit here like I am. Another seat there. Now look at that. I'm not going to need to torch much longer because the next one's lit up. If you look down the end of the tunnel. Wow, look at this. Finished with needing the torch, it's all lit up. As we can see a little conical roof above us as we came in, that's up there. And just, okay, the camera's messing around with the light, but the two little lights are up there above the chandelier. But just look at these shells, they're amazing. And if you look, each, each one has a different pattern. This one's quite cool. 
So they're all, all different patterns with different shells. I think it's really clever. It's a really amazing building. And to think this is all going to be demolished when they built the estate that surrounds this place. It's very, I'm very glad they saved it. That's where we've just come out of. It looks very, very dark and forbidding. We were down there. Look at these shells all around the outside there. What I'm going to do now is we'll go out there. There's another um, skylight there. We'll go up here to the entrance. There was one other little chamber. There's no one down there. That's a dead end. Let's see what happens. If we go down here, this is the last chamber. But, um, ah, so there's not much in here. But this is the, the other chamber we didn't see. I just like to do everything. So that's it. That's the air tunnel. We were right down there. So what I'm going to do now, I shall go into the light and we'll look around the garden. So let's go out of here. These, these are new in go here. Out of here oh, and um, yeah. we're, we're going to go up and look around the garden now. So, so we come out of the Shell Grotto. We're going to go up to that summer house up above the grotto. Now where are you going? Yes, thank you. I've just been for a walk around. The lady very kindly asked me, did I know the way? So I said, yeah, I've had a look. So we get to here. Now there's two routes we could take. We could take that one, but let's take this one, it takes us lower and upper, because we can see a bit more of the grotto from above, have a bit of an understanding of where we've just been. So that's the porch into the grotto. When we came into one of those first chambers, we were in, in there. So it actually, although the light's here, the shaft kind of goes down that way. Um, so the chambers of basically under here in the hill come up to here there's another little sort of a grotto just here look at this one here seems quite small compared to oh it's very echoey compared to what we've just been in so that's the roof of the grotto down there if i follow this path around here you can see that it must be really strange if you live in that house and you've got this as your neighbour. So that is the um, roof of the council chamber, which was the really nice last one we saw. Go up the steps. That's interesting. I don't, it looks like next door have also got a grotto in their garden. Whether they've built that to copy them, I am not entirely sure. Or it was part of the original one. So here we are. We're coming up to the top of the garden now. So we were right down there, so we've been right underneath here in the hill. And here, we're just behind it. This is the summer house here. Look at that. Let's go and have a look inside. So it's in this side, this summer house. So this is a summer house on the hill above the grotto. So as we go up to the top, so we've gone from underground to on top of the hill. So this is the summer house. There's a trap door. I've been told no link to the grotto. There's just a chamber under here. Um, there's a picture of how the grotto may have looked once. And where we are now, that's the view out over where. That's where we are, that's the view over where. So let's go back outside. We'll walk to the top end of the garden just so we've seen everything. And then it's time for me to walk back down to where town centre and um, go for a walk, I think, and by the River Lee and maybe see some trains. So I hope you enjoyed this video from Scott's Grotto in Ware. It's been very fascinating. Um, it is open from time to time, so do have a look, see when they're open. Do come visit you. So if you, you can get here very easily by train on the railway line from London to Hartford East. So from the garden with this amazing grotto in it i hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment and from beside the summer house above scott's grotto thank you very much for watching goodbye